So, full time, Arsenal will actually win 3 1 against Southampton. Yes, we did get our revenge after the FA Cup defeat. Uh, this is my player ratings um, after our actually decent performance. We, I actually enjoyed an Arsenal game for once, uh, which is something I haven't done in a while. So, uh, let's get right into it. So yeah, like I said, um, it was a decent performance. It, 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 it was actually a class performance. It, it was a really good performance. And um, yeah, we didn't end up winning 3-1 after an absolutely embarrassment of a start, wasn't it? I think um, Southampton going 1-0 up inside the first three minutes from um, Armstrong. I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my God, here we go again. But we responded really well. Um, you know, I thought after that, after they scored the goal, um, we definitely obviously got that quick response. Nicola Pepe, I'm so happy for him, man. Literally, I've backed him so much. And yeah, it, it, people have been, you know, he's such a scapegoat. He really is. He's been being scapegoat, you know, you know, he's been, he's been scapegoated. And everyone's just really get, get, giving hate on him. But, you know, um, I think a few, few of the fans have been backing him as well. And he proved that he's he's still a baller. Like seriously, I'm, listen, I'm I don't think he's a flop personally. Um, so, so some of our uh, our fans do, but in my opinion, I, I think we need to give him you know a lot more time. We need to play him, keep keep on playing him now. I swear down if if Mikel, if you drop him against Man United, I'm gonna go in one because he scored you know a class goal, and you're gonna drop him. So yeah, um, I thought Pepe was excellent today as well. Um, by the way, Granite Xhaka, that uh, pass for the Pepe goal was class as well. I thought he had a good game again. And, you know, he's been playing well recently. I can give pre uh, praise when it's due, credit when credit's due, you know. Um, and then obviously Saka, in my opinion, it was so close. I mean, there, there's a few contenders for man of the match. Uh, Cedric's one of them. I thought he was absolutely class. Um, Saka, outstanding. I thought Smith Rowe done really well. Um, and obviously... Uh, Pepe as well. He, I mean, he could be up there for man of the match. But um, in my opinion, I, I will be giving it to Bakari Saka. Got our second goal. Got the assist. And it's just like, this guy is absolutely unbelievable. And, you know, not our own fans. I'm saying other fans have the cheek to call him overrated. There's no way. Come on. Speak, our rival fans, you've got to put some um, um, respect on his name. Like, he, he, he he's a baller. He's world class. He's going to be, you know, obviously definitely one one of our best players in in the future. But he's honestly, he's got to be our best player right now. He has to be our best player. Like, he's been absolutely amazing. And, um, yeah, he's definitely going to be, he makes it 2-1. Uh, goes on the key with a nice finish. And then um, second half kicks in. And we um, sort of, like, we not really sat back. We, we did have a few chances. But then Southampton sort of like building up slowly. Danny Inns then nearly turned into that like Danny, you know, Messi. But he got the ball, got past Party, then run past Holding Louise, and he somehow didn't slide at home. But um, yeah, um, they they could have easily got E class. It could be a whole different game. Um, but apart from that, I thought we did defend really well. Uh, Burn Leno, Burn Leno, yeah, what, another person who's been absolutely criticised. He's been being ripped into. You know, not necessarily like the past few weeks, so I thought he's done really well. But before that, he's like, ah, oh, sell him, he's not good enough or whatever. You know, he's we should have kept Martinez and stuff. And um, I do agree that we should have kept Martinez. But this guy, come on, he's still, he, 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 he's class, isn't he, as well. The, the, the amount of saves, like, he saved that um, that free kick from uh, Walprouse. Um, he had that one from Danny Inns. He had that one from Theo Wilcott. You know, he, that, that head of him, Jay Adams. And the amount of times he's been saving us, it's just unreal. And, yeah, he, he's a, he's a cl quality goalkeeper, really good. So, um, yeah, I thought Leno was really good today. And I thought we defended all right. Um, and then, obviously, the third goal, Lacazette. Um, and to be honest, if he didn't really score that goal, I thought he's probably one of our poorest players on the pitch, if I'm being honest. Although he did really work, work hard, I saw he was running, tracking back. Um, 
You know, he did. did he should have scored right, right, right in the first minute. Like, yeah, one on one, you gotta be scoring that. But he did, you know, redeem himself with the, um, with the uh, obviously the third goal to win us the game. And yeah, it was just a comfortable three points, and um, I'm very happy. I'm still on set route. I don't even care. Please, please, I don't care. Please, yes, we are eighth. Well done. We sacked Una Emery for being eighth. Yes, Chelsea Football Club has sacked Frank Lampard for being ninth. We're both Chelsea. Oh yes, yes. Let's let's have their manager for being like. By by the way, they're still in the Champions League, and by the way, they're still in the FA Cup, and they're Brandon Tuchel now. We've got this manager who's eighth. Yes, eighth. Whippy do eighth. It's just honesty. It's, it's a joke. But um, yeah. Listen, people, please let's not get to the Arsenal fans. I, I don't care. Yeah, if we're eighth. Look at the pick teams around us. Look how many games in hand they have. Aston Villa, three games in hand. Everton, three games in hand. Spurs, two games in hand. Yeah? With 11 points off of, off of Man United and Man City. 11 points. Yeah? With a better manager, I'm telling you that we, we would have beat Burnley. We would have beat Crystal Palace. You know, we would have probably beat Wolves. Uh, we would have beat Leicester. And we would be up there challenging. I'm being serious, yeah? I don't care. If we would have won them games with a better manager, who you know got the best out of the players and all that, played the right squads, we would be up there challenging. I'm not even joking. You know, people say, "Oh, you're deluded." It's just like, nah, it's the truth. If we had a better manager in there, and we would have won them games, then trust me, we would be we would be challenging. It's like, you know, it is a really, really weird, crazy season, isn't it? Um, games are being called off, obviously, due to you know the virus and that. That's why so many game people have games in hand, but you know. Let's get around to my player ratings because I've been absolutely waffling for um, six minutes. But yeah, let's get around to my player So, ratings. starting goal. But no, no. I'm going to give Bernard an 8 out of 10. I thought he was absolutely class, to be honest. Yeah, I, I think he's definitely going to get 8 out of 10. I thought he'd done really well. Like I said, made some really good saves. And uh, yeah, really been playing well um, recently. And, uh, you know, he's been really good for us. Um, so yeah, um, even his distribution. People, I, I've been the one to criticise him. Like, what last thing, last one thing he's got to work on is his distribution. I thought today he had no problem with it. So um, yeah, Leno's gonna get eight out of ten for his class. Uh, Cedric nine out of ten up there for man of the match. Probably if it weren't for Hitaka, it would definitely be him. Um, obviously he had that shot where he really could have scored that. Like that went so close against his old club as well. And it was a ten times better performance than that shocker that they had in the FA Cup. So um, yeah, Cedric nine out of ten. Thought he's making really good crosses. That pass for for the third goal. That was class. That that was world class. The way he switched that over to Saka, one cross, Lacazette puts it in. That that, that was that was superb. Um, yeah, so Cedric's gonna get nine out of ten. Uh, the centre backs, David the Wees. I'm gonna give David the Wees a seven. I don't wanna be too harsh on him, but he 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 wasn't at his best today. Um, actually, not probably a six because I'm, I'm gonna give Holden a seven point five. Listen, I don't want to be too harsh. We were on three one, but I thought Louise, you know, he had that little moment where Che Adams literally lost the ball and then Che Adams. But you know what? I'm gonna give him a six, seven. Actually, you know what? I mean, yeah, okay. I give Holding and Louise both sevens. I thought they were all right. Um, I thought Holding was definitely the better centre back out of the pairing. Uh, he's, you know, really defending well, getting some headers away. So I'm gonna give Holding a seven point five and Louise a seven. Uh, left back, uh, we've already done left back. Right back, Hecky B. Uh, I'll give Hector uh, Hecky B. Six, six out of ten. I mean, again, don't want to be too harsh. There, there were some good moments, and there's an absolutely poor, you know, horrendous, not good enough embarrassment moments where he was out of position, lost the ball. Uh, but there was, he put some good crosses, so I'll give him a. I'll give him a seven. Why not? We know we've won. Let's be positive. Yeah, so I'm gonna give Ex uh, Bellerin a seven. Uh, moving on to the midfield, Thomas Partey. I'm gonna give Thomas Partey a. S Listen, so I, I thought we'd done all right. I mean, he obviously did play some. I mean, listen, it wasn't his brightest performance. He wasn't the best he's had. Um, so I'm gonna give him just a seven point five as well. Um, maybe an eight. I'll, yeah, you know what? I'll give it an eight. Xhaka, same thing with Xhaka. I thought, I thought he was really good today, actually. Obviously, he did get an assist, so I will be giving both the midfield an 8. I thought the midfield done really well. Uh, Smith-Rowe, again, 8 out of 10. I thought, um, in, 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 in the first, what, 
first half he was absolutely class. He was up there for man of the match. Second half he sort of faded away. He did obviously come off because he had a, he had a bad injury. Um, but yeah, Cedric. She, um, no, not Cedric. Smith was going to get an eight out of ten. Another one who's superb. Another one who's just been really good. Uh, Saka he's going to get a nine out of ten as well. I thought he was absolutely you know outstanding. Like I said, man, man, man of the match. Got the assist. Got the goal. Worked his absolute you know socks off. Done everything. Um, Lacazette. I'll give Lacko an 8 out as well, because he obviously did, did get the goal and worked really hard. Um, and then finally, we had... Have I forgot? I think I forgot. How can I forget? Who is on the left-hand side? Jesus Christ, am I really forgetting this? So you had... We had played Saka. Um, oh, Pepe! How, how, how can I forget Nicola Pepe? 9 out of 10 as well. Scored his goal, you know... Done lots of good work off, off on on and off the ball, you know. Done his them two little nutmegs was just like oh get out of here, you know. I thought he was class and um, the way how he uh, when he come off he's like yeah um, to to the two um, Southampton players like yeah yeah what yeah because he he's just class isn't he? So um, yeah I'm gonna give Pepe a nine out of ten. The subs uh, El Nene, Willian, and uh, I, I listen I, I always forget one sub. I was gonna say Martin Nelly, but he he got told to sit back down again. Uh, El Nenny standard for oh Joe Willock because he come on with, like the last five minutes yes um I can't I, I finally re remember the subs uh Will I'm not gonna mark Willock El Nenny's gonna get the free um and the other person who is the other I've, I've always fallen off my mind um Willian I mean he sort of did set up the first goal uh, no, the third goal sorry I'll give I'll give him a four um probably he's it's funny how he's gonna get the highest ratings I've I've ever gave him as a four out of ten. Uh, when in, in the FA Cup game, he got a zero. <laughs> That's convenient. Um, Mikel on setter. I'll give Mikel an eight out of ten. Uh, I'm still on setter route. Whether we win, lose, or draw, I do not change because I'm not a flip flop. Whatever you know, for me to change, he has to win a league title. He has to so he has to win the Premier League. You know, like he has to win the Premier League for me to change back because I'm a little flip flop to on setter in. That's not gonna happen. Yeah, even if he, you know, the, we, we're gonna finish ninth, tenth. We're not gonna just sack him. Just we have to sack him, but we won't. We won't. That's another. That's a different matter. Anyway, let's let's talk about on the bright. Let's you know praise him when we do, um, because yeah, I do give him praise. He's getting eight out of ten. Um, the the lineup, you know, that's what he has to go with. And I don't know why he didn't go with that in the FA Cup because we would have won. Um, but yeah, Mick is gonna gonna get eight out of ten. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. We actually do get the win, and I will see you guys. Um, well, for a few career mode videos in between. Preview for Man United is a massive game. So yeah, come on you Gunners.